Hey everybody, hope everyone had a great weekend and wanted to start off by saying thank you very much for all the views to all the shorts and to the new sub as well as the comments. Love all of that. It's amazing. Uh, just wanted to do a extra video, if you will, a follow up on this fake destructive tremolo. The reason I say destructive is because what it did to packs of strings to my sanity and all that. But when I was actually looking at this the other day, I kind of described it to a buddy. You know, when I didn't have the string tree, when I was putting it on the guitar, I started noticing, <clears throat> or uh, was it a couple days ago? I was like, you know, for some reason, these are just not wanting to go down to a certain point. You actually look at it here, when you're putting the fine tuners down, they go down to a certain point. But then here, I'll actually show you this one on the D, if you will, because it is a seven string. So you pull the fine tuner up, and this is the worst one by all means. I'm sure you guys can still see it, but look at this. Yeah, I'll probably get it better from this angle. So on the D, there's absolutely, look at the play in that. There was, and they, and mind you, I was arguing with this company. And I'll, I'll just say the name right now before I actually go in to start uh, exposing the main, main, uh, seller and all that but Zaway was the company that they're claiming they are that's making fake Ibanez Dimebag Daryl guitars uh trying to think what else fake Toast and Obyssey and all that but they're claiming they have quality control and all that fun crap try not to say all cuss words because new guidelines and all that fun stuff but digressing so you, you put this down because usually when you're setting Floyd Roses etc you know, you want to put the Floyd Rose fine tuners at a certain point, but that's not supposed to happen. I mean, even look down here, that's bent to hell. That's not supposed to be like that. Everyone who's played a Floyd Rose or still does, and I'm an enthusiast, I love Floyd Rose. My first real name brand guitar, a Jackson KE3 Pro from the 90s, when I got in, I think it was Christmas of 2000. It was a Floyd Rose licensed tremolo, and I've sworn by the licensed tremolos just as much as I like the real ones, but it never looked like this. Never. They never acted like this. So, and that was the worst one. I mean, you can see, I think the next one was the, let me see. Sorry for all the drops. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's the A and the G. And we all know once you start losing any kind of control over a Floyd, it's not good. And I tried blocking it with all kinds of stuff, still wouldn't hold tune. And that's when I started going through the process of ordering new parts and all that. And then when I started noticing this, I will actually take pictures and there's probably, because this channel is about, you know, I, I, I love doing this channel for a lot of reasons and all that it helps out anxieties and all that fun stuff. But I do this channel to, help out other musicians and people because when I was younger and I was going out there I would have loved to have this stuff for when I was buying guitars and all that but to sit there and rip people off steal their money and then offer them a ten dollar to thirty dollar refund and then say oh no it's that's not the guitar and then I'm doing all the fret re of work and all that you, imagine being a kid just getting their first guitar they don't know anything about fret work or all that. And then you take it to a shop and the shop's like, the neck's messed up. I've now taken a guitar that's an illegal copy. I love the thing to death. To me, it's still like an Ibanez, but it isn't. But it's like my own guitar. It's like, I don't know how else to describe it. But it's the fact that I, a company told me it was fine. Other companies said it wasn't. Or, you know, meaning other guitar build shops. And I've been doing luthier work for since 2000. I'm going to say 2006, 2007, really. And that's the first time I've had to redo a whole entire neck. Plays and sounds amazing. And then you see crap like this. And then let's say that, uh, going back to what I was stating, and being a, a kid getting the first guitar, it's something they really wanted. And then a company saying, you're lying. It passed quality control. And nothing works on it but the input jack, the tuners. The trim system clearly doesn't work. And, you know, the, the volume, master volume and tone and the five-way switch. 
I mean, granted, I'm going to make it look just like a, um, you know, the green universe looked like, but it's not for everybody. But I definitely wanted to show everybody this, that they are now passing these off. And a lot of them are on eBay. I mean, I'm a huge eBay, eBay shopper, but anything that comes from China, they're even actually selling these that are going off of uh, in America. They'll sell them from California is where they're coming from. I'm doing a lot more deep dive on it too. So trying to show everybody this. And so if you're one of those people that are trying to save a little bit of cash and all that, go Firefly, Harley Benton, um, you know, th those kinds of companies and stuff like that. You can't go wrong with them. But thanks for stopping by, giving us a try. Once again, don't forget to hit the like, sub, comment, and there's links in the description if you feel like donating and contributing to the channel. If not, just like, comment, and, sub and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Have a good weekend. Or actually, have a good week. <laughs> Take care.